Hey folks, Technivers here. Today, as you can see, we're looking at the full release version of Kira 4.9. So, this guy was just dropped a couple days ago. I am a little bit late to the game. Normally, I do this the day of, unfortunately. My wife decided she wanted to have a baby yesterday, so I figured we probably ought to go with that, and I could handle this today. So, here we are, and we'll go over all the new features and everything else involved with Kira 4.9 right now on the Technivers channel. Technivers channel is brought to you by these fine Patreon supporters. Check us out on Patreon at patreon.com slash technivers. One of the interesting things with Kira 4.9 right off the bat is they now have something that they're calling the digital library. It is something that is integrated with another project of theirs called the digital factory. Now, while I'm very interested in seeing how this scopes out in the future, and I'm hoping that at some point they decide to allow third party printers to be added to the digital factory at the moment, it is only allowing Ultimaker printers, so we won't be touching on it too much because I don't have one of those bad boys at the moment. Let's, however, move on to some of the new features. So, as you can see, these are basically the big three. Uh, these are the new features included in Kira that you're going to be most concerned with. And they are the line type being default color scheme, uh, the indicator showing the starting point, and the Z seam now being clearly indicated. So, let's go... And oh, there are a couple other features as well. Those were the main three. Uh, simplified Kira onboarding, you're gonna see that in just a second. Um, and the weight estimation decimals, this one's actually a really, really good one. Might not seem like a big deal, but that is pretty epic. And then the extra printer definition. See, they had printer definitions for Kira. I don't know why they wouldn't be willing to do it for their factory, but uh, that's something that you don't really hear too much about. I'd really like to see see more about it. So as you can see, this is 4.9.0. This is not the beta. This is the full version. It has been out for about three days. And we're going to go up here and go to what's new in here. Because as you can see, they've added this new graphical change here. So you can see the slides and see exactly what's new by reading through this here. So the first thing it covers is obviously the digital factory. Uh, and then you're getting a better visual re representation of the Z scene. This is something we'll take a close look at here in a second. And what else do we have here? Uh, line type. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Okay, so if I pull in a model here, just like so, and we go ahead and slice this guy up, we can pop over to preview mode and take a look at these new features ourselves. And we'll talk about them just a little bit. So I know there's no major additions here. But keep in mind, at about 4.8, uh, Kira branched off and decided to do something called Kira Arachne, where they're working on another engine entirely to incorporate in Kira 5.0. So they did do some modifications and get you to a 4.9, but the next major release version is going to be a big, big jump. So um, here you can see I still have my travel turned on. My color scheme was set to line type. I, I don't remember it being set to anything else. I mean, I don't... I, 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 I'm confused, I guess, because I just remember it always being at line type. Let's move, remove the travels here so we can see a little better. And in fact, you can see that we are getting a seam here and here and here. It's putting them on the corners. There is a seam down here in this little notch. That is a screw hole. That doesn't really matter. Uh, and we can reconfigure and re-slice and see how it adjusts that seam just to get a better visual representation of exactly what's going on. So let's go to walls here. I don't have all my settings turned on, do I? Oh, well. Let's see, Z seam alignment, user specified, and back, huh? No, let's do shortest. See what effect that has on our model. Uh, I'm assuming that this is the path it normally picks, so it might not actually change the Z seam. It did. You can see it moved it from the left side of the hole to the right here, and from the left side of this to the right side here. This is a little bit closer to randomizing it, actually, which is going to give you a less defined seam here, 
Not sure if I'm going to like that outcome or hate it, but like I said, it's a nice visual, visual representation of what you're going to get from the model. And I'm not going to go too much further on this video because there isn't a whole lot of meat to cover on this version of Kira. I'm happy to check it out, and I'm very pleased with this new feature because it is very, very useful. Like I said, I, I thought that it went to line type automatically before. I don't know, maybe I've just hallucinated. Um, but yeah, definitely give it a shot. And keep in mind that the next version 5.0 supposedly is going to have that Arachne engine. So if you don't think that the features in this version are worth checking out, go ahead and pop right over and download the Arachne beta because it's now out in beta and they need all the people they can to test it out and get feedback before they finally incorporate it into the actual release version of Kira. And I'm looking forward to Kira 5.0 immensely. Uh, that's gonna be it for this one guys. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one That's gonna be it for this video guys pay no attention to the mess going on behind me Pay more attention to the mess going on on my shirt. Check this out. Finally got the merch available That's right finally hit 10k so the merch is finally here make sure you check out the Teespring merchandise bar below the video and thanks for watching don't forget to hit the like button and Subscribe because we have more videos coming your way in fact, I've thrown a couple of suggestions, videos for you to watch on the screen right now. So go ahead and check those out. When you get done, don't forget to pop over and check out the merchandise. There's plenty of stuff to see. And thanks for watching, guys.